Aaron is now a catastrophic Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic. Hey everyone, I'm Fox 26 Houston meteorologist Allison Gargaro, and I want to give you all the details on major Hurricane Aaron. So we are at Category 5 strength, 160 mile per hour maximum sustained winds, and the pressure has dropped to 917 millibars. We're talking about rapid intensification within this storm. Now this is a look at the latest advisory coming down from the National Hurricane Center as of 1020 a.m. Central Time on Saturday, August 16th. Now we are looking at that Category 5 strength likely through tomorrow before it's going to be decreasing in intensity just a bit. I do want to mention that it's still going to be a major hurricane through at least the middle of this upcoming week. Then it makes its curve off to the north and east, just past the island of Bermuda by the end of the week, and still a Category 2 hurricane. I want to mention when we talk about these systems in general, especially these strong tropical systems, it's always that northeastern quadrant that gets hit the hardest. So folks who live in the island of Bermuda need to be watching this closely. Right now, it looks like the hurricane will still likely be off to your west, but that doesn't mean that you're still not going to be getting hit with very, very intense winds and that heavy rain. But here's a closer look at the satellite view. Take a look at that well-defined eye, and it's just a buzzsaw that continues to move basically directly west. So it's folks in the British Virgin Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands, even the island of Puerto Rico that will be getting in on not only the rain, the intense winds as well, and then those waves are going to be kicking up not recommended to be anywhere near the water. But I quickly want to talk about rapid intensification because I feel like people hear this and they're like, okay, I get that it went from, you know, uh, one to five really quickly, but what does that actually mean? The definition of rapid intensification within a tropical system is an increase in the maximum sustained winds of at least 35 miles per hour in 24 hours or less. For reference, I was working yesterday morning when Aaron officially became a Category 1 hurricane. That was Friday morning. Now we're in the midday hours on Saturday, and it is that catastrophic Category 5 with 160 mile per hour sustained winds. So this storm truly did intensify and quickly kind of lost some of that dust and was able to just pick up steam in the warm waters of the Atlantic. Our latest GFS forecast model do show that it's likely going to start that northwesterly turn. Right now it's basically moving directly west, but as it makes that curve around the big area of high pressure that we call the Bermuda High, it starts to follow that outer edge, meaning it's not going to be directly impacting the United States. And I'll get to the indirect impacts in just a moment. Then we head into your Wednesday, Thursday, and it starts to move off to the north and east again. So away from any major land mass, which which is always good, but it's the indirect impacts that we really need to be looking out for. I do want to mention that behind Aaron, likely going to be seeing a few tropical waves in its wake. So that's something that we're going to be watching over the next week to two weeks. Let's talk about the future wave heights, though, because just outside of the center of Aaron, we're looking at 20 foot seas. Now, that's likely going to continue a little bit closer to the Bahamas, so I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking at 8 to 12 foot seas by the time early next week rolls around. Anywhere from the east coast of Florida up to the coastal Carolinas and then all the way to coastal New York and into Boston, we could be seeing 12, 13, potentially even 14 foot waves that will be rolling in. So that's going to be one of the indirect impacts for the east coast of the United States. The other is an increase in those rip currents. And boy, they'll start to see that over the next several days. And that trend's only going to continue. So out in the British Virgin Islands today, rain likely, as well as an increase in those strong winds. And then we'll start to see that out in Puerto Rico over the next few days as well. Now, I want to mention, yes, we continue to monitor air and bot. There is an area just off the coastal Carolinas that has a low chance for development. Again, low chance, but still something that we're watching. I think this is just a friendly reminder that, hey, we're not even to the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season yet, and things are really starting to get busy. So Aaron, that Category 5 hurricane, and if 
or when we get our next name storm. Fernand is on the list and then Gabrielle after that. So make sure you guys stick with us on Fox Local. Free to download for your phone, your smart TV. We do multiple tropical updates for you. It's so important to stay updated, especially if you have family or friends or you had travel plans to uh, the Leeward Islands, into the Bahamas, even the island of Bermuda, not somewhere that you're going to want to be over the next several days. Again, I'm Fox 26 Houston meteorologist Allison Gargaro with your tropical update.